Monday Matinee presents Guilty of Our Disasters, Dispatch 2. Captain, are you saying that you had feelings for this traitorous woman? Feelings? Feelings. I wouldn't say that word applies here. I'm a ship's captain with 173 souls under my command. I think I can easily put any, what did you call them? Feelings aside for the greater good. But you said she was the most beautiful thing you'd ever seen. Beautiful woman, actually, not thing. I've seen some attractive aliens in my time. So you were attracted to her, sir? That's not how I'd categorize it. It was just an observation of aesthetics. And genetics, if you think about it. What is pretty, anyway? I've seen some beautiful sunsets in my time. But you didn't want to mate with the sunset, sir? I don't know. Have you ever been to Vilcoria? Very... Attractive celestial displays. You said you wanted to spend the rest of your life with him, this rival captain. It just popped out of my mouth. You're aware that such a statement could be considered treasonous? Of course I am. But it's only treason if acted upon, which I was not going to do. You're not human, so you don't understand instinct when you act outside of reason. Our species may travel in space, but we're still beholden to our biology. And your biology said you wanted to be with this man? Of course. I mean, it was a whim, a passing fancy. What happened next? Nothing exciting. We met, discussed the business at hand, came to an understanding, and moved on. That sounds very simple, Captain. Searching. What are you searching for? Located. Scanning. What are you scanning? Scan. Appending. Appended. Keldon 2422, what was all that? I located the audio recording of when you first met Captain Chokta Solvi. Sir. Ah, there's a recording. Terrific. How the hell did they get a recording? It's standard practice among the Faustians. With their history of conflict, they record everything to head off any discrepancies in history or misremembrances. Of course they do, the scheming little... Cap, is there a problem? Problem? No, why would there be a problem? I'm just glad to know that there's something that backs up my story. Yes, Captain. Calvin 2422, would you be so kind as to play it just to make sure my memory lines up with the events of the day? Certainly, Captain. Beginning playback. Now. Greetings to you from Iteration 7. I'm Jove. I mean, I'm Captain Jove Tarkin. From Iteration 7. From the good ship Quantum Quincux, I meant. I'm a representative of Iteration 7. Jove. Hello. Hey. Hey. I mean, Captain... I mean, I'm Captain Imala Shotosolvek from the Worthy Incorporate of Harmony. I command the battleship Fortunate Phoenix... And I have to ask, what the hell are you doing in the Faustian system? I could ask you the same thing. I'm afraid my mission is confidential. As is mine. So? So? So what else can we talk about? Excuse me? We're both captains and diligent in our duties. If one or the other of us was here because cargo wasn't moving where it was supposed to, then we'd both be professional enough not to say so. Or imply that we knew that's why the other commander was here. Very true. So what else can we talk about? How are things in the 
Incorporate. Simply smashing. We are strong and committed for a long fight to claim what is ours. Yes, I suppose you are. And we are strong too. Strong. Committed. Prepared to see things through to the end. Etc. Iteration 7 is the future. What was that? <clears throat> oh, that's the new catchphrase we've been told to say, but with a bit more gusto. Iteration 7 is the future! It doesn't exactly inspire. Ours is the same as ever. Long live the worthy and corporate of harmony. Long we will stand ever powerful, ever victorious. In all the universe, here glory is unmatched. Good God. And that's just the first stanza. I can do the whole thing for you if you like. That's not necessary. We have to recite it in unison every morning. Really? Ever since we were kids. You mean, you guys don't? To be honest, they tend to tinker, always trying to improve, update, innovate. Huh. That sounds kind of nice. It does? From my side, it's a pain. Every day, it's new updates, changes. From shipboard communications to weapons upgrades to uniform adjustments, we have no idea what the next day will be like. And we end up trying to repeat the same day over and over again. But not today. Definitely not today. Have you been to Faustia before, Captain? I prefer Amala, if that's allowed. I don't see why not. We're both captains, after all. And it's Jove. Jove? That's nice. Yes, I've been to this system before, but never to this particular moon. I say it's nice, but... Vast swaths of irradiated magma aren't high on your list for vacation sites. Vacations? That's funny. Why is that funny? You don't get vacations? Uh, no. You mean you do? It's required. They are scheduled for us, so unless you are in combat or meeting a new species, you get force marooned on a designated randomly assigned vacation spot for nine days. They what? I once woke up in a very nice seaside town where none of the locals spoke any language I knew. That was a long, lonely week. Away from your ship? Out of communication? Yep. I didn't even know what planet I was on until they came to pick me up. It's like they understand the concept of time off, but not how it should be applied. Captain, Jove, should you be telling me this? Oh, that's not a secret. It's one of the selling points on the public net they use for recruiting. They just leave out some of the finer points. I've even seen it in the packet they use to try and flip officers from your side to ours. Huh. Mine must have gotten lost in transit. Don't take it personal. Those are only for ones they know are vulnerable. They don't bother with the competent or the devout. I'm told the math doesn't support the effort. So which am I? Competent or devout? I'm still trying to figure that out. I know you've kept a close eye on my sidearm. Just curious, but is there a reason you haven't tried to kill me yet? Standing orders. In contested space, we are not to attack unless we are attacked. Unless you are very subtle, you haven't tried to antagonize me. That's true. So, here we are. Here we are. Yamala, before you arrive... Before I saved your life, you mean. Indeed. Before that, the clans had agreed to a ceasefire so I could negotiate an end to their hostility. How'd that go? Well, one fraction did try a sneak attack on the other, so I'd say... Not well. However, they did provide me an intact structure, complete with food and drink for the duration. Did they now? How hospitable. And since you are here, representing your own faction, it seems the negotiation needs to begin with us. Are you 
inviting me back to your place to discuss war and peace? I suppose I am. Then I accept. But I should warn you, I'm a tough negotiator. I've never been one to shirk from a challenge. That's good to hear. Lead the way. And the rest was just simple discussion. Textbook, really. Captain, may I ask a clarifying question? Of course. If these discussions were that simple, why did it take approximately seven hours? That's... that must be inaccurate. It was a small moon. Likely the orbit and rotation time has caused the chronal records to... shift. I'm reconciling from shift time. You were off the 2Q for more than seven hours local. Really? Well, time flies. It does not. It moves in a constant fashion outside of sufficient anomalies. Was there such an anomaly on Faustia Prime? Sir. I don't think I like your tone, Keldon 2422. You'd have to take that up with the programmer who designed my voice synthesizer, Captain. Are you questioning my loyalty to the Incorporate? Never, Cap. I was merely querying to provide a more diverse view of the events. Perhaps it would be prudent to move forward. That was not the last time you encountered Captain Tarkin. It was not. Both of us have been assigned to contested space, it seems. And while space is infinite, sometimes it's not that big. But we are at war, Cap. And Iteration 7 are our sworn enemies, by order of... I know my orders. And in contested space, it is up to me to determine how best to proceed. One wrong move, one errant blast, and we can cause much more harm than good. I'm not accustomed to hearing you speak with such tact. Your history is one of charging in and taking control. Different situations call for different tactics. Nine times. Really? Reconciling. Affirmative. You've encountered the fortunate phoenix nine times since your initial encounter. And lived to tell the tale. And in most of these encounters, you've had private conferences with Captain Shokta Solvi, sir. That's true. The burden of leadership is a heavy one. And it's good, from time to time, to be able to discuss such matters with one who understands. And how many times have you attempted to kill her, sir? That's not how diplomacy works. But it is how you win wars, sir. Perhaps my goals are higher than victory. That doesn't compute. No, I expect it wouldn't. Have I not done everything that's been asked of me? I've raised planets, destroyed starships, even chased that weird space scarab all over the quadrant. What more can I do to- Incoming transmissions from command. Our map is being updated. Updated? From back home? Why? I'm tabulating the information now. It seems the Pendulous Squid engaged in active combat with several vessels from Iteration 7. Oh, Starva. What have you done? The battle moved into contested space before the Iteration ships were destroyed. Good for her. About time Starva got some kills under her sash. Yes, Cap. However, the battle also destroyed several mining stations in the area causing contested space to be reclassified. What are you saying? Contested space is now considered an active war zone, and all ceasefires have been nullified. That means the next time I encounter jo- Captain Torquin and the 2Q... Your orders are to destroy it on sight. No quarter. No prisoners. Yes. I'll- I understand my orders, Tommy Rot. Out of my cabin. I have preparations to make. Of course, Cap. Monday Matinee's Guilty of Our Disasters is written by Kyle Olson. Performed by Louis Farber, Betty Munoz, and Stephen Frankenfield. Produced by Ryan Fitzpatrick. 
The Monday Matinee is an Ox and Hair production. Follow us on Twitter at Ox and Hair. Check out our Facebook page or come by our website, oxandhair.com, where we've got a couple of sword swinging ladies, a filmmaker under siege, and a group of adventurers on a doomed quest. Just not all at once. Come along.